Hey everyone, Loganetics here, and this is my video explaining what happened to the MS-2. So it's still on, um, but let me give you a little bit of a backstory. I got home from work, and my dad told me that there's something beeping. He was heading outside so we could do something in the garden. And I came down here, and I was like, it's probably just a smoke alarm. Probably forgot to take out a battery, or it could be that. But then when I opened the door, I heard the buzzer on this completely on, so this panel was an alarm. But that was the only thing going off. And it was, the light wasn't fully staying on, it was like flashing. So my dad said that he hears something beeping. This, I think this is bad, because, if you listen, mini horn is going. Panel's an alarm. Zone two. That's not zone two. But everything's on the same circuit, so why is that going off? Everything else should be going off. Did the smoke detectors happen to go off by any chance? Oh, God. And um, zone two was an alarm. I don't know how it went into alarm. Because nobody really comes down here a whole lot except for me. So this wasn't pulled. And I don't even think my brother knows how to reset this. And I don't think he'd pull my pull station. And actually, no, he wasn't even home at the time. And my dad said that the smoke alarms didn't go off. So that couldn't really be it unless I have no clue what happened. Or maybe it could be a glitch in the panel. I'm not sure if that's even possible. So I figured out the cause of the problem. Well, not really the cause, but the resettable power gave up. It does not work anymore. Um, I tested this, plugged into it, and it was very low pitched. MS2 power supply is cooked. It's directly connected. And listen. So that's not good. It's not putting out it's either low on amps or low on volts. Probably low on amps. Because this device, uh, at least to my knowledge, has not been known to respond to low voltage. Like when I had my old panel, whenever I had the BGA up, the MT and the SHG would be making noise. But this wouldn't. Um, so I'm assuming it's still 24 volts, but it's probably a very small amount of amps. Lower than 500 milliamps. But I have my old panel power supply right here hooked up through the relay. So it should work. I'm just going to put on hearing protection. Let's go. And this finally sounds normal. I think it's because the system was power limited. But now it has two amps of power. Not gonna go outside, but I'm gonna... Not gonna head outside, but I'm going to the far corner. So we can hear the echo. I feel like it sounds like a safe tech video. I'm gonna quickly open this up so I can change it to March time. I don't know why it's so slow to boot up. It has an SSD, but the thing's like 10 years old, almost. There we go. March time, 120. I don't know how I still have more spray. That detector is like really slow. Or maybe it's just not very sensitive. But the old simplex was very sensitive.
love the way that horn sounds. It sounds so good now. I think my relay's like glitching out or something. I feel like it sounds like a safe tech video or something. Yeah, the relay is not right. It's not the MS2 relay, it's the coder. Relay's probably on its way out. Or you know what, maybe it's insufficient power, so... I thought I acknowledged it. So yeah, I guess consider the MS2 not quite fixed, but I just found another workaround. I literally just have this in here with a command strip and that's just, just sitting there. It's a mess of wires. It looks horrible. Um, but yeah, that's it for, I guess, system test 33 and a half. So thank you for watching. See you in the next video.